Okay, so let's take this into NX capability. Um, if anybody has heard of arrangements, um, arrangements are kind of the same thing, same principle concept. We can um, the NX version of CATIA scenes. Yeah. So the most important thing is to make sure that your parts, if they have no constraints on them, um, we have to kind of go into their properties, the part properties, and under parameters, we have to make sure they're all changed to individually positioned. If you do not do this, the parts will not uh, change in their position or they won't be set in a position. Um, so each thing and each subassembly has to be changed this way. We can um, highlight or change multiple parts in one sub, but I can't do it if it's all in one subassembly like this. So missing that parameters tab. So in each one, I have to go through and make sure that each one is changed to individually positioned. When when will that not be the default? So is that a, is that a default setting? It could be. We, I have not found it to be a default setting to when we open up NX that it, I don't have to go in each part. So if I have a 50 part model, I'm not going to want to do that in every, you know 50 parts. And even if it's drilled like a a big massive tree, there's multiple parts in it or multiple sub assemblies. I'm not going to want to go into each one and change it like that. So there most likely is. I just have not found it yet. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so if you're if you're more knowledgeable, we're hoping there's an NX setting that says when you load your parts, already have them all individually positioned. Yes. But right now we know that if they're not at that setting on the screen, arrangements won't work. Right. So we have to yeah. annually do it. Yeah. This is just one of those. We got to point out this very key information or default that if it doesn't change, it won't work. So now with the way to find the um, arrangements, we have to go to the Assemblies tab in NX and click on Arrangements. So again, we already have one or two already created. Um, so and again, with like just like Katia, we can go ahead and create a new one and call it New Arrangement. And the same thing will be, um, let me try this one more time. So if I go back to nominal, I can go ahead and double click double that. Click yeah. So you can see our mesh is kind of floating. We got a couple of our points up here. Uh, we can go back to separated, and then or go back to 3DCS and then help the model. And all the mesh will go back to that nominal position. You can find them in here. You can make a sub assembly arrangement um, within this same part under here. I can go ahead and activate this one. Make sure that this uh, arrangement here, which is the middle mouse, the roller ball, uh, the circuit board, the all within that internal component. And then, of course, I can use the uh, update that in the model uh, 3DCS, and then continue working branch tree within you know within the side buttons. 